Honking doesn't determine new laws. That's not how politics works. You don't change laws by harassing a downtown. The protests opposing health restrictions and vaccine mandates have been going on in downtown Winnipeg for almost a week now. City News spoke to area residents who feel that this protest may have lost the plot and they're calling for a return to a peaceful night's sleep. How many nurses and security guards that will work overnight and then come home to try and go to sleep? This should not be allowed. This resident lives within earshot of the honking. We spoke to them shortly after they had a conversation with police. They say there have been open fires, blocked streets, and broken noise bylaws, and police won't crack down. They say bus routes are changing without warning, and it's just another inconvenience on downtown residents. My girlfriend, immune compromised girlfriend, gets dropped off at a different spot, being harassed and yelled at by people waving American flags unmasked, you know? It's horrific. I think that there are a lot of reasons to question why uh, why the mandates are in place, and there is a lot of discussion to be had around that, but, uh, you know, pissing local people off isn't going to accomplish that. This resident lives far enough away that the honking doesn't keep him awake. These residents also live out of earshot, but say some vehicles break off from the main pack and have honked outside their homes at night. This man says he believes in their right to protest, but six days is an occupation and feels at that point it can no longer be considered peaceful. He says based on the vast array of messages on each vehicle that this is not just about mandates. I think it's... Uh... It's really hard for the average person to understand. Uh, people are just upset about anything and nothing. Some people maybe have too much time on their hands, or they're just upset with their life. I don't know. It's evidence of people really believing strongly in something, and I, on some level I admire that, even if I think their views are a bit misguided. This protest currently has no official end date. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.